What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for another foray into the world of indie games. Today we're checking out Factory Town, which has had a bunch of updates since the last time that I played it. A bunch of erp dates. And so we're going to start off and we're going to build ourselves a town. Starting biome, sounds good man, don't change a damn thing. Let's roll. Alright, so at the start of the map we got some workers, but as we build houses, upgrade your base, complete research, you'll soon have a fully automated network of conveyor belts and rail lines. Then unlock advanced magic power technology to extreme optimization. Alright. Cool, man. Sounds good. Uh, we got some houses over here. Yeah, dude. Let's do some houses. I think I need roads first. Right? Let's do, like, a road, like, right there. Yeah, roads. Sounds good. Alright. Let's see here. Can't afford, bring more resources to base or storage buildings. Okay. There you go. Chop that tree right there. Yup. Chop that tree. Go get it. Go get that tree, bro. And then bring it back here. Oh, yeah. Then bring it back here. There we go. Get the tree. All right. Get the tree. Bring it back. Get the tree. Bring it back. Oh, we got resources now. We got to collect 15 wood. All right. I got this. We got this by the ass, dude. There we go. Footpath is making things all nice and efficient. Look how fast my little guys are gathering wood right now. Look how fast my little dudes are getting wood. What does it take for a footpath, though? Oh, it takes three wood for a footpath. Gotcha. So that explains why that's going so slow. Little man, I need you to, like, yeah, bring this back over here. Perfect. Knock that out real quick. Oh, we're going to have a pocket full of wood in no time. Dropping it off. But out, bounce, bounce. My little guy's all working over here with their little sag. They got their little scraggly hairs. All right. So we got to get houses to increase our population limit. How much is a house? Like six wood? Sounds all right. Sounds doable. Sounds workable. Let's get a few more. Place the bill. Oh, it only wants me to do the one right there. Okay. Well, at least we got a place to like live and like, you know, do our life right here. Maybe it's got central AC. Maybe it doesn't. Our population has gone up, so we got to place two new workers near the house. Done. More workers. You guys, I don't know, go grab some stones. Go grab some more tree wood. Oh, we're looking bang up right now. We're looking bang up right now. Oof, look at this efficiency. Look at the world flow. Coins are necessary to grow and run your town. All right, well, I mean, we're already gathering, like, fruit and stuff, so that should be cool. Do you want me to, like, redo it? I can redo it if you want me to. There we go. If you really, really want me to, I can redo the fruit right there. Once delivered, the house will consume the item. Oh, it wants me to take the food onto a house. Gotcha. Okay. Well, here. You go over to there. Yeah, get it for me, dudely. Get it for me. Oof, there's my coins. We've got ourselves two shiny new nickels ready to go. Lumber mills will turn wood into plank, which you need for many buildings and upgrades. All right. Let's do a let's do a lumber mill then. I can do a lumber mill. I'm all lumber milled out right now. Oh, I don't have enough stone. Oh, not enough population capacity. Okay. Well, there's two more houses right there. We got pop cap now. One, two, three, four. Done? I don't know. You guys go get more wood real fast. There you go. Perfect. And then for the lumber mill, we can kind of like put that right there. So we got the lumber mill. Now I think what we need is for this little dude to come over to here. Cannot navigate. Grab wood. Bring over to the lumber mill. Dunzos. Uh, maybe make some planks. Yeah, that sounds good. Knock out some planks real quick. Maybe make it happen, Captain. How long do we have left on these trees right here? Like, do those, like, die? Yeah, it looks like he's sawing wood into planks right now, so it looks like we're hitting all of the stops that we need to hit for now. For the footpath, let's take that out to, like, right there. We'll also footpath that. I need this house to be on the footpath, too. So there we go. And then maybe we'll have, like, a little connector road back there in a little bit. I think it's looking mighty fine at the moment. We've got ourselves 22 stone. We've got a little bit of wood laying around. And so we got a left click on a wood. Well, I mean, I've already done that. I guess it wants me to have another worker, though. That's all right. Like, I'm fine with having another worker. Give me another house or two over here. I need a few more of these little dudes. Just kind of, like, do their thing. Clock that game. So go over here. Load on wood. 
And then I guess bring it back to town. Is that going to work? Are you doing what you're supposed to be doing right now? So take the wood and offload it there. I don't know what this other little guy is doing, but it looks like we've got our logistical site all nice and planned out. So we need to get more houses. The game deeply and desperately wants me to have more houses. I think I need more like food going around though. So like maybe go from there over to here. Maybe go from like there over to here. Yeah, we've got plenty of wood coming in right now. So maybe you guys just gather up food for a little bit and like make it happen. That's ready for an upgrade. How do I upgrade it though? Yeah, I guess upgrade it. Sounds good. Can I upgrade these little houses over here? Yeah, upgrade the houses, my guy. Do your thing, man. They gave us two more population. All right, let's get two little. How come I only got one guy out of that? Shouldn't I have gotten two guys out of that? I feel like I should have gotten two guys out of that. I feel like I'm overcomplicating things right now. Let's pause up the game. Let's get all these little workers back in and in line over here so that I can start rearranging what it is we're doing. Yeah, you guys come back down over here real fast. Like, I gotta get, like, control of my logistical supply lines. Yep, you to right there. And then you... You're not doing what I'm telling you, man. I know you listen to a lot of Rage Against the Machine, but, like, that whole, like, I won't do what you tell me thing ain't working right now. Alright, so workers. We've got one guy... He's going to bring back wood to here. We got another guy. He's going to bring back wood to right here. This dude's going to take the wood to the lumber mill. This guy is going to take the wood from there to there. So you four should be at work now. You go over to here. You go over to here. You take that and deliver it to there. You take... Nope, don't do that. You take that and deliver it to there. You take food, deliver it to there. You take food, deliver it to there. There we go. We're organized officially now. You bring that back over to here, and then you bring that back over to here. Now we're fully running. Now we're trucking with speed and a plumba. We'll go ahead and upgrade that house real fast so that it's all good to go. We gotta get some more coins flowing in, though. All right, that house has been upgraded. I'm gonna line up my workers over here, and I'm gonna get them to do what needs to be done in just a minute. But let's let them just kind of ride it out for the moment. With the apple tree, what's that got left going on? Do we know, like, how much production we have left on this apple tree? Because I feel like it's a valid question. He's bringing back the lumber from there, so that looks good. Let me get another footpath. We'll run that back over to here to connect with our road that we errantly put at the beginning of the game. We've got enough coin to go around. We're going to upgrade that house. Now then. Oh, we got to pay for our little workers. That's why it's not. I didn't realize. I thought as long as we had pop cap... They would all dive straight in and do what they're supposed to be doing. I don't have any stone workers right now, so you guys gather stone and drop that off over there. We'll figure out what we want the stone workers to do next. From the lumber mill, I don't really have anything going on right now. We do have a shoot. What does a shoot do? Does a shoot just go like straight in over here? I don't know. So we can go to the build menu and we've got our food market. Okay. Uh, buildings. So with the food market, what does the food market actively do? My guess is that the food market just like feeds these places. Okay. Like it's not going to fit there for right now because we've pretty much like filled up this area. So resources wise, these apple trees got a while until they're going to be locked down. Like they're not going to be ready to go just yet. Damn. Okay, well, what else can I build? We've got structural blocks. We've got farming tiles. We've got paths. We've got workers. We've got a grain mill over here. We've also got a workshop. What can I do with a workshop? So with the workshop, it looks like we can create cloth. We can create wheels. We can create books. Okay, so there's a bunch of stuff that we can make inside of here that's going to make our life a little bit simpler and I think more rapid, but... 
it may not be immediately useful right now. So we need five stone blocks. Can I make like the stone cuttery yet? Workshop, grain mill. Does the does this place actually make the stone blocks that we want? Warm coat, cloak. Doesn't look like it. However, we can make axes if we have iron. And so that'd be pretty cool if we had an axe to grind. Unfortunately, we don't. I need all this stuff like out of the way right now. Like this stuff is like fully in the way. Yeah, bring some grain to some of these houses over here. Like just work that for a little bit. Get these tiles all done and taken care of so that we've got more building space on that side. Because, like, I feel like we're building up pretty good right now. We can sell goods, so that's already automatically being done. Got enough room for two more guys down here. You guys go grab grain and then just, like, drop it off. Because, like, what I'd really like to do is I'd like to have the market right here so that it hits all of our houses. That way we have food distribution going on. And that makes it super easy peasy. After that point, what I'll do is instead of having all of these guys run food directly to our little houses, I'll have them run it to the market instead. Yeah, that way it's not getting stored and like built up or whatever. That'll make things a lot simpler. It wants me to build the food market, but for the moment, there's not really a whole lot of fantastic places that I can foot I can put the food market. So like as much as I would like to have it. Oh, I guess it like connects to the road network. Never mind. All right. So I guess I had the wrong idea about what this does. So with the food market, it puts them near, increases demand, and allows us to earn coins faster. Okay. Like, do I really need all these little dudes over here then? Like, running stuff back and over here? So, like, with the food market, nobody's actually using this right now. So, like, with you... Grab grain and then drop it off at the market. You... Looks like he's doing like a little apple work out here. Alright, you grab that and take it to the market. You grab grain, take it to the market. I may have to like redo all of my stuff all over again. Damn, dude. Alright, so I've got them all lined up. Really all I need to do is I need to get them set up with like apple tree to market. And then apple tree to market. So we've got like three of these guys going apple tree to market. We'll do four. And then I need grain to market. We'll go grain to market. Grain to market. You just keep doing your thing and dropping that off at home. Perfect. You guys work on the tree and then drop that off at home. You take wood from there and take it to the lumber mill. You also do similarly. You pick up wood and drop it off over here. Yeah, it looks like the market automatically sells all the stuff that we've got going on, so that's good. Uh, let's continue getting grain and taking it to market. And then we've got grain, we'll take it to market. And so this is going to give everybody a passive mood boost as far as I can tell. And instead of them having to sell goods over there, this is giving us like a central repository where all of our stuff can be sold off more rapidly. So we don't have to sell it at the house anymore. We've got like a central location. Those are herbs right there. I don't know what we're going to do with the weed plants just yet, but we'll figure out what it is that we want to do with those in just a minute. These resources are starting to clear out, which I think is going to give us another beautiful little area that we can start putting in new people that can live inside of our village. But for the moment, we're basically like at peak efficiency right now. I've got you guys going on. Uh, what do I want you guys to do? I guess you guys work on trees for a little bit. Yeah, just take all your stuff to market. You guys are doing what you need to do anyways. Is there a way that I can hold down a key and see what everybody is doing with, like, little lines drawn in between all of them? Or, like, maybe I mouse over? Yeah, okay, so it shows me what we do over there. They're making more planks on this side. Is there anything else that I can select from here? We can make paper. Okay, so we can use it as a paper mill. Our entire area is going to stink like farts, but that's the best you can do. I drove through a town one time that had a paper mill, and, like, oh, my God, did it stink. It smelled terrible. That whole city smelled like ass. And so we've got a grain mill now, huh? What do they want me to do with the grain mill? So the grain mill, it allows us to turn grain into flour, which can be sold for a higher price. Okay, we don't have enough pop cap for that. 
Are you gonna like get out of the way, little buddy? What's going on with you? Like, why are you not doing anything important right now? I guess that just flat requires pop cap. All right, let's put in a house or two, shall we? We'll throw in another house over here. I should probably have a middle way thoroughfare that goes through there to handle that, but I'm lazy. I'm very, very lazy and I just can't help myself. Now we've got grain mill over here. We can spin that around. And actually all the grain is over here. So if we wanted to do the grain mill, what we could do is we could take that over to, that was not what I wanted you to do. I wanted you to take that and go to the grain mill. And then on this side, we will make flour. Little bit of ye old flour. A couple of you dudes go back over here and then you take the flour from there to the market this will be a lot more efficient once we have a road that runs over on this side I think we can upgrade that house though and that's easy peasy so both those houses have been upgraded apparently the definition of having an upgraded house is just having more ventilation on the top of your house There you go. I knew I believed in you guys. Look at you guys over here killing it right now. Look at you dudes over here absolutely slaughtering the production line. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. All right, so wagons can move four items at a time, but they cannot harvest items. They also move much faster on stone roads. So we need wooden wheels at the workshop. All right, so there's wood wheels right there. How many planks have we brought back over to this side? So let me get you, you, and you. You pick up planks and take them over to here. Eh, not really what I wanted. You pick up planks, bring them over here. You pick up planks, bring them over here. All right, so we are now officially producing wheels. Apparently wheels take a little while to get done, but do I make the wagon from here? Where is the wagon crafted at? So we bring the wood wheels to our base. That way the wagon can be done. So you come over here, pick up the wheels, put those inside of there. And then we can select workers. We've got the build menu, workers, and then wagons. There they are. Okay, so that's going to require pop cap, unfortunately. We do not have a whole lot of pop cap as of right now. Hopefully someday we'll be all pop capped out and we'll be able to get this done with a little bit more rapidity. But for right now, we're kind of like stuck with where we're at. That's ready to be upgraded again. Oh, with the five wheels. Yeah, do it. So we've got a school, a general store, and paper. And so Max House occupation is increased to four. I can't make stone bricks, so we can make those at the stonemason. Have I unlocked the stonemason yet? Where's the stonemason at? Stonemason is still locked, so unfortunately we're a little bit... I want to get these up to level three, but I guess that's not going to be a viable option. We've got workers already doing their thing over here. We've got workers already doing their thing over here. I do need the wagons, I think. I don't think we're going to have much of a choice on that front. So let's take houses. We'll kind of sprinkle those right there. We don't have the wooden planks in order to upgrade what I want to upgrade right now. Yeah, add another worker, I guess, to this. Yeah, get that done faster. And then I think we need more wood choppers. So there's a wood chopper right there. You chop that, take it straight to the lumber mill. Chop that, take it straight to the... Hey, somebody got in the way. Chop that and take it straight to the lumber mill. I want this entire area nice and deforested. Dude, our town has gone from being kind of a sleepy little area to being all hustle and bustle with activity. This pleases me. This pleases me greatly. I think we're just about on top of where we need to be on top of. We got 23 wheels over here. All right, shut that place down. I just want to like keep wheels for a little bit. Like we'll keep the input right there. Like that's fine. We'll stall that out, but we need to start building up some more planks so that we can upgrade these two houses down here. Actually, I don't think the housing graphic really changes once you upgrade it. At least it doesn't look like it to me. Yeah, I think the house stays the same regardless of whether or not it's upgraded. Weird. So that should be full up on input. So we should start to see planks like build up a little bit from here. That's good. We kind of need that. How much stone is left on these? 
a load. Good God. More stone than I even remotely know what to do with. Okay. I would like somebody to be chopping over here, maybe. I guess they're trying to finish that location off, though, first. Like, I suppose it's okay that he chops down there. Like, I don't really care about that. Let me add you right here. And then you grab that and just take it to the lumber mill, I guess. Oh, we don't have enough people offloading. Gotcha. All right, well, we can fit houses right there, so that's all right. I would like, now that we've got a little bit more population, you three, come in here, offload to there. You, uh, maybe chop at a tree and then take it over to there. I mean, we've got a couple more people picking up the outputs, but this area is turning into a little bit of a fuster of clucks. I may have too many people dropping off wood. That's fine, though. We can slow it up slightly until we hit equilibrium right here. That's a little hot. We take that down by one. Down by another one. There we go. That looks about right. Okay, so we've got that balanced out. And that's left us with two extra workers available. I don't know exactly what I want to do with these extra workers. But I suppose we'll figure it out momentarily. Outputs are looking okay. We've got a bunch of wheels. I wanted to do a couple wagons. So let's do some wagons, man. That's what they wanted us to do next, so why not? Uh, there's a wagon right there, and there's a wagon right there. All right, so chutes are handy ways to transport goods long distances. Note that only some items will roll down chutes. Also, you may need to rotate chute pieces to ensure the rolled items travel in the correct direction when they reach an intersection. Okay. So what is the stop gap right here? The stop gap is mostly... Everybody that interacts with this thing over here, come over here real fast. I don't want anybody interacting with the lumber mill anymore because I'm going to replan this so that it works a little better. All right, so nobody is officially touching the lumber mill right now, correct? Nobody's touching the lumber mill. All right, so you chop a tree, put it in there. You chop a tree, put it in there. You chop a tree, put it in there. So I'm assuming wagons don't harvest. They just move things in between locations. Yes? Take that to market. Because it looks like we're maxed out over here. You take that, take it to market. Because I'm pretty sure we are maxed on this side. There we go. That's got everything running again. So if they can take those to market with some, like, rate and speed, I think we'll be all right over here. This is messy, though. This is very, very messy. I think once we start to get, like, production lines and, like, shoots and everything else moving around, it's going to be a little bit better. But for now, we're out of time for the day. So my name is Flattercat. Thank you for hanging out for a little bit. This game is called Factory Town. Kind of a fun little diversion if you're into like industry management planners, things like Factorio, where I think we're going to have a lot of conveyor belts moving around and like grabbing things from mines and bringing them back where they need to be with people grabbing them off the belts and taking them to other places. So if you enjoy logistical planning, I think this might be the kind of game that will tickle thy pickle. Uh, my name is Splattercat. I show off indie games on the internet every single day and sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile so that you don't have to. I appreciate you stopping on in, and I really, really love what I do here every single day, and I appreciate being able to do it. I will see you all later. Thank you for stopping by. Hi, do. Take care, and make sure you support the developers down below. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you wanted to see more. Bye, everybody.